Ohio primary is just over a week away, and while the Democratic presidential race is dominating the headlines, there are some big contests here at home. On the front page this week, the election, the three elections to watch in Hamilton County. Three veteran Democratic politicians are running to replace the late Todd Portoon, and Democrats are trying yet again to unseat longtime Congressman Steve Shabbat. But the contest with the biggest potential impact here is issue seven. It's a 25 year sales tax increase that would reinvent Metro. For the first time ever, a Metro bus board is now allowed to spend part of its levy proceeds on road and bridge projects of significance for roads over which buses travel. This uh, is going to provide approximately 30% of the money from this issue seven will go to that purpose. And that is a wonderful way to help improve our infrastructure, which independent experts have said there is over one billion dollars of needed infrastructure improvements in Hamilton County. If history is any indication, this is a tough road to travel. But this time, there is high-powered support behind the issue from both sides of the political aisle. Courier reporter Chris Wetterick wrote this story. He's here with the chamber's Pete Metz to talk about the Move Forward levy. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, Pete. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Chris. So this has been a huge priority for the Chamber of Commerce. Tell me a little bit about why that is. Yeah, for us, it's listening to our members and understanding that what they tell us is they need talent to get to the jobs that they have today. They need to grow their business in our region. And for the businesses who want to come to our region, who want to attract uh, the type of talent who, who needs to get around uh, our region, we know that we have a major disconnect between where, where people are and where the jobs are. And so we're being responsive to the nearly 4,000 businesses in our region who have said, make transportation a top priority and get something done. So 25% of the proceeds of this levy, it's going to go to roads and it's going to go to bridges. How is that going to be decided? What roads do you think are going to see improvements? Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, under the leadership of Representative Seitz, who we saw at the top of this, uh, you know, he was really instrumental in making sure that we were working with infrastructure experts through a public works integrating committee that has the county engineer and representatives from across the entire county uh, making decisions in, in partnership with SORTA to invest these dollars. State law requires that these dollars have to be invested in roads that impact the provision of the bus service. The beauty of that is that that's the major corridors in our region. And, and you can think of big things like, like the Western Hills Bay or like Columbia Parkway that are in major need that impact our community, whether you're on a bus or in a car. And so leaders from across the community have identified those projects and, and many more as the types of things that will be able to be invested in through this levy. And so the other three quarters of the levy proceeds is going to raise about $130 million a year. It's going to go to buses. What improvements and what are bus riders going to notice different about their service after this pass? It's going to be, it it's going to be when it passes, it's going to be drastically <laughs> improved uh, in, in our community. We're going to have buses running earlier in the morning and later at night. We're going to have 24 hour service. We're going to have buses that run every 15 minutes, seven days a week to make sure that we're cutting down those trip times, making it so that you don't always have to come downtown to transfer, that you can get east and west much easier. This is the type of transit system that will be truly countywide and it'll be one that connects people to, uh, to thousands more jobs year. The 24-hour the, the service alone has nearly 350,000 jobs within those corridors. So we're going to have truly uh, regional transit and transit that's going to be really high quality. So it's a 0.8% sales tax in Hamilton County. Some people might say, oh, that's, that's kind of a big, big tax. How is that mitigated? Well, something else is happening here, right? Yeah, well, we're transitioning away from having a city transit funded system. If you live or work in the city of Cincinnati, you're paying 0.3% of your earnings tax to fund the bus system right now. That will go away under this plan if we pass this countywide sales tax. We're the only uh, transit authority in the state and one of the only in the country that has a local funding tax for a, a countywide service. And so if you live or work in the city of Cincinnati and you make more than about $20,000 a year, you actually see your taxes go down under this plan while we're also able to invest $100. $30 million into our transportation system. Pete, thanks for joining us. Kyla, back to you. Thank you. Certainly an issue we will be keeping our eyes on.